Right. This is not your typical video. Because this is a little series. Not like a proper big series. But these are like this little mini story time series of true stories, which are quite funny. Like funny Max Max stories. And why not start off with the time I had to go and find Cameron Hawks. And if you don't know who Cameron Hawks is, then it's this guy right here. And basically he does obviously YouTube and and he basically does obviously content. But this is not ordinary story because I have never done like a proper YouTube video talking about this type of thing before I'm actually going to be telling you is a, f a funny true story right like <laughs> I hope he does like his side of it if you're watching this mate I would like you to try and respond to it or make it you I do actually want to recommend you doing a YouTube video on your side of it. So, like, if you just want this to be a thing, let me know in the comments. If you just want, and Cameron's fans want to know if you just want to do any more of this type of thing, go on to his channel and do the same similar thing. But, yeah. But, obviously. So, this was years ago. We were, like... At a friend's party. And the whole idea. Of the situation that. Cameron was in. Was more so. The fact. Because. Th there were two of the same names. But different locations. And the thing was. One of them was. Half. Was from, was from the other side of town. And there was one, and there was another same name of an area on another other side of this town area. And let's just say, like, because I was I was already at the friend's party, and and you know I'm I'm having a good time, and and then all of a sudden. I get a phone call of Cameron. James, I'm late. I don't know where the place is. And I'm like, dude, like, where are you? L like, our friend's been, been wanting to know where you are. And then, and then this is where, you know, the general thing happens here. So basically he's going, well, you know the place that... We're meant to go to for etc etc party and i went yeah of course and then obviously he says to me on the phone so i'm at this community center and, was, and then and then i think it was east or west i've forgotten what it was cameron will probably do a little follow-up to this too as i said before for a youtube video and basically, he ended up at the wrong area. So, and do you know what my stupid idea was to do? Go and find him. So, typical me, I did not tell him. Well, actually, no, I did tell my mate. And I thought it was going to be easy, simple. I thought, because I thought it wasn't that far from where he was. Nothing to realise took a very long time to get him and this is part of the story now where you know Cameron really th no not Cameron I thought it was going to be easy simple finding Cameron and we're just going to get back to the party everything's all fine no it took a long time to get Cameron and what in what in the context and the way 
we handled each other trying to find each other. I tried to find him first. So literally, like, the entire time, I'm just, go I'm walking with my phone like this. On FaceTime with him. Going, so you're this, no, you're that, you know, you're that. And he shows me, like, a co- He's near a co-op. And I, and I keep telling him, I don't see no co-op. I don't recognise these roads. Because I've never been around here before. Neither did he. But... Halfway through the phone call, because... Because we, we didn't end the phone call. If, if I recall, I don't think we ended the call until halfway through. Until, until I noticed one area where he was walked around one because my mistake was walking through an estate because I'm telling you guys like walking through an entire town and then walking through like a bunch of houses is not the best thing to do in the middle of the night it's not it's not worth it Because all the way through walking, all I see, halfway through, right, was, was basically, I had a few looks, and there was, obviously, the, 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 there was no one walking at this time, and basically, and basically, they were actually looking through windows, through their windows, and looking at me. Be honest, it was embarrassing, but it was not worth getting Cameron in the end. It well, in my mind, it wasn't worth it, right? Because not just it wasn't just that. So, going all the way through the through the whole town and, and estate, finally find him. And the worst part was, after all that finding them, we got lost. We got lost, and we had to, and had to find out my own footsteps. It was probably the worst night me and Cameron had, but it was an experience me and him had. It was probably like you know. Not worth doing that in the first place. Going to get him. Because I'm pretty sure you could have handled it myself in the situation. But I did. I mean, to be honest, like. At least it was the thought of me going to help. Going to get him. And helping him. But, like, literally. Like, at this point. Guys, like. Halfway through. Me and him are talking. And, and eventually we end up. Try and re re retrace my footsteps. Halfway through, I'm using Google Maps. He's using Google Google Maps. And oh my god, it took forever <laughs> to get back. So we get back. We eventually got back in the end. But when we got back, our friend was annoyed. Why the hell did he miss my party? You were halfway into missing it. And that was basically his reaction. Because, cause like, I know most of my long-term friends, and one of them is a little bit overreactive from time to time. And he was fuming. He was not happy one bit. And it was probably, you know... Like, number one, he was not happy. Number two, he was more annoyed the fact that I went, out, went to get him. Number three, he was more annoyed that Cameron got, got went to the wrong place. He was more, so like, he was more angry at all three things at once. And was not happy, and was not happy with just one thing. He was, he was not happy with all three things. So he, he was a bit overreactive. But yeah. But yeah, literally, like, that was basically, like, the entire... So basically, it was more like... 
that film Dumber and Dumber, that that was what it felt like me personally, but for me and Cameron trying to find each other, like oh the stupid way we're trying to find each other. First, first it was Google Maps, first there was the FaceTime heart for majority of the me walking him walking to me. And the and if I, if I recall halfway through, I had to walk over a train track. <laughs> Like, obviously there was a pathway, but I'll walk over <laughs> a train track. <laughs> but then, when I went to get back, I look at the train track, and I turn to, if I can re- recall, I turn to Cameron, and Cameron's like, you all right, mate? And, and I said, this is the train track I walked over earlier. And he went, is it? Yep. And we just walked over, and I'm just like, I look, like, first he looks over, and then, and I'm just, no, I'm just like, remind myself, why did I even think about going to get him? Because, <laughs> like, first of all, like, it was me- a bit of a memory thing for me, like, because whenever I remember something, if it's, like, a good thing... I'm happy, but if it's a bad thing, like, the train tracks, because, like, look, so the good thing was there was no trains coming around, that, coming around, which was good, there was no trains coming whatsoever, because one thing back then, I uh, had a bit of, of a figure of the dark, and when I was walking, it was pure dark, it was like, if there was no clouds in the sky, it would have been a horror movie. And obviously, and obviously I kind of embarrassed myself. Because halfway through, there was another estate over the train track. So obviously there was a bit of a problem with that. So yeah, as I said, so... So I look, so obviously Cameron looks over and I'm just walking with him just to myself, looks over me, and I'm like, because I knew I didn't enjoy the night whatsoever, I just didn't want to tell them, and like, literally, it was an eventful night, literally, but obviously in the end, we got back, we got to the party, and yeah, the reason why I chose to talk about this for a YouTube video was because it's because I'm already doing a bit of content on TikTok, which I'm happy with, and I'm starting to notice with myself to do most of the stuff on here, which I kind of enjoy more doing. So yeah, and I hope you've actually enjoyed this story about me trying to find Cameron, and I hope you know Cameron. Fingers crossed, if you have the time, do a follow up video. Make it lengthy if you want, like this, or longer. Depends on how much you can remember. But, yeah. But that's the story, guys. And I hope you've learned... I hope you've enjoyed watch, watching, learning about how, what it was like for me and Cameron back then. Because literally, it was eventful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Danger out.